Today we're talking about a quick hitch, a new and improved, or wait, well this is actually a kind that I used to carry, then couldn't get any more, then now I got my hand on a limited amount again. So anyway, I'm going to tell you about it. If you're new to the channel, thanks for stopping by, and if you've been around here for a while, well hey, I appreciate it. Thanks for sticking around. <laughs> I apologize for the shorts, you know, it's like 95 degrees, it's been 95 degrees like every day for the past week. I'm not complaining, but if I wore some jeans or some pants, I'm going to melt. So let's get to this quick hitch here, okay? And so, yeah, I used to carry one that was very similar. Some might say identical a couple of years ago, two, three years ago, something like that. Uh, this is gonna be a very similar design to the WorkSaver quick hitch that I currently carry, okay? You're gonna see that same beefy uh, cross bracing here in both sections here, same dimensional um, spacing, you know, both in the, the bottom links down here and then from the bottom to the top up here. You'll notice up here that these are going to be adjustable. So this top link here, you can unbolt that and move it up and down. There's several slots right here. I don't know, five, six or seven, something along those lines where you can adjust the top link depending on your attachment that you have. You know, if you have a quick hitch compatible attachment, then you're going to be OK, you know, with this quick hitch, with any other quick hitch. Hey, so later in the video, we're going to do this little side by side comparison. The Spico kind that does not require those bushings versus the work saver here that does require the bushing. So make sure you stick around. So what makes this quick hitch different? Well, I'm going to get to that in just a second. Be patient, okay? I'm trying to get you to listen to the other things about it first, and then we'll tell you how this quick hitch here is going to save you that $42 for every single attachment that you want to hook up to your quick hitch. Yeah, that's big savings right there. Okay, so I was supposed to get 200 of these quick hitches in. I ordered 200 of them, okay? Guess how many showed up? 24, all right? So there's a limited quantity. I'm not sure how readily available they're always going to be. I do wanna ship these out. I have every intention of shipping these out to you guys. But as you can see, this is how it is. This is how it came into me on pallets, okay? A pallets of 10 or 15 or whatever was on there. There's no packaging here. I gotta figure out a decent way to get these packaged up and shipped out. Now, if you buy something else with it, like uh, a set of pallet forks or you know, something else that would go on a pallet, then it's pretty easy for me just to strap one of these right down on top of whatever else it is that you're getting and ship it out that way. But my intent is to go UPS ground when shipping these to you guys if you're just looking to buy just a quick hitch. So I've got to get creative. I thought maybe I could just slap a label right on here and ship it out like it is. I don't know if that's the best thing to do or not. Um, again, I'm, I'm just trying to figure that out. Okay, okay, the moment you've all been waiting for, all right? So pay close attention right here all right so this is the part right here this little notch this cut out whatever you want to call it is the part that's saving you 42 dollars per attachment that you want to hook up okay so say you have a ballast box say you have a box blade say you have a bush hog a tiller a rear snow blower anything you're going to put on that you would normally hook up to the rear three-point hitch of your tractor would go into this instead and so with the work saver quick hitch, with the eye matches of the world, with the land prize of the world, with virtually every other quick hitch out there, you need to put a set of bushings, adapter bushings, because this cutout here is not um, sized for a category one pin. It's sized for a category three. I don't know the reason. I'd love to hear it from somebody. If you know the reason behind why most quick hitches, 99% of them out there, have a category three cutout. Is it just to get a few more dollars out of everybody? I, I don't know. But... I searched long and hard and was able to finally get something that didn't require those bushings. Okay, I'm telling you, you save a boatload of money with this. Okay, so listen, all right, this thing's beautiful. In fact, I was expecting to get them in the color red, okay? I know, red, but believe it or not, that's the color that these things come in. This right here was, um, I guess, a screw up. Now they are supposed to be transitioning to black in 2021. Don't know for sure, I'm not gonna hold my breath until I see it happen, but. I expected the 24 I got in to be red. So if you order these, no, it could be red and not black, but right now the first batch that I got in is black. A can of spray paint will go a long ways. I mean, this thing is just a hunk of steel here. Spray it up green, orange, black, red, pink, whatever color you wanna paint it, it's just a can of spray paint, right? You know, and to be perfectly honest, I don't think it really matters what color it is because the cost savings alone, just from not having to use the bushings down here for every attachment is well worth it, even if it was bare steel. Okay, so I mounted this thing on here. I've done a whole video how you install a quick hitch. I'll put a link above so that you can check it out. I don't wanna spend time going through that right now, but you just get the quick hitch mounted on here. Basically, 
you have your three point hitch like any of these compact or subcompact tractors you're going to have and then you leave this quick hitch mounted right on there okay it's just going to stand there all the time unless you have a backhoe then you're going to take it off but otherwise just keep it on there all the time that way hooking detaching from your imp implements or attachments is going to be that much easier so what I'm going to do now is just show you how you hook up an attachment right into this. It's a, it's a piece of cake, okay? And again, it doesn't require bushings. That's the huge selling point to this thing and really the reason you should buy it. I mean, it's just, I don't know why more manufacturers don't do this, but I am thrilled that I got my hands on it. I'm hoping I get more of these, okay? But I've got a, a limited quantity at the moment. I'm hoping more and more of them keep coming in, but um, I just want to share the information. So you just pull these arms back like this. You know, just pull them out like that. You can see down here if you pay attention, okay? It's just controlling that. That's standard operation for how these things operate. I'm gonna pick up um, this attachment here and put it right in here. It's just a, a, a lighter attachment. Sorry, I'm sweating like crazy. But uh, we'll pick this thing up and we'll put it in there. <sighs> Try not to bang myself. <clears throat> there, there we go. And it's just right in there just like that so you just close those back down it's going to lock it in place you could put you know your cotter pin or, or your lynch pin or whatever right through these bottom links that way they don't go anywhere the top one just kind of rests right in there uh, on the top link and you're going to see there's a little bit of extra spacing in here and um, the ones that require the bushings are also going to have that extra spacing in there and to be honest this is probably a little bit less spacing than the kind that requires the bushing so I don't know what that's for. Maybe it's just to give it a little bit of play, um, you know, flexibility if you are using a ground engaging implement or even if you're using one that goes along the top of the ground, that way there's a little bit of, of play before something gets torqued or tweaked or something. I, I don't know, I'm just hypothesizing at this point. Maybe it's just to allow things to have a little bit easier time hooking up and attaching to them. That could be as well. Okay, so what you're looking at right here are gonna be the Spico. This is the one that does not require the bushings right over here. Over here is going to be the work saver. I know you can't really see them very well. They're kind of hidden, but the point is to show you that these things will hook up to, this is a frontier attachment. You know, this is ag spray, just an aftermarket manufacturer. They'll work with all sorts of uh, manufacturers that are out there. You know, these quick hitches are built to an ASAE specification, which basically is a dimensional control that um, gives you the, the width, you know, between the bottom lengths and the width and the tolerances to the, to the, from the bottom to the top lengths as well. So, Regardless of the manufacturer, you know, these quick hitches should match up pretty well uh, with pretty much everything out there. You know, there's always going to be, you know, a random one-off or there could be some really cheap brands that are out there too that just don't quite have that quality control or some that are even really, really cheap or a super economy series of some kind that just simply isn't quick hitch compatible. Okay, so if we take a little bit closer look here just to give you a Close up of those bottom pins there, you can see there's you know a little bit of a gap underneath there. Again, this is the kind that doesn't require the bushings. Okay, look over on the other side as well. You can and so if you take a look at the top hook, it's still gonna, for whatever reason, have that space there like it's gonna want the bushing. However, on the traditional style, it's gonna have that same kind of um, gap in there. Might be kind of hard to see here, but it's, it's down there. I can fit my finger right underneath there. Same exact top length. I don't run a bushing on these kind either. Uh, these are the bushings down here that I'm talking about. You can see there's still that gap space underneath there. I don't know why it's there again, but never really found that to be much of a concern. Take a look over here. Same thing. So these bushings, though, these brass bushings, this is what I'm talking about. 42 bucks a set, you know, give or take, you know, it depends on where you find them at. Sometimes they're a little bit more or less, but um, that's what I sell them for. So anyway, you can kind of see there the difference. So if you take a look right here, there's the cross bracing on the WorkSaver style. Here's the cross bracing, you know, same exact thing uh, right there on the Spicos as well. So you're still getting that structural rigidity that's great and superior than some of the other ones that are out there. I don't want to name names, but I think you know what they are. Well, if you're still with me, I appreciate it. I want to let you know that the tractors that you see in these videos here, the attachments, I pretty much sell all of it, okay? I'm not a, a rep for Frontier in particular, but I can get you any attachment like this. I am a rep for Ag Spray, but I can get you, you know, uh, box blades, rotary cutters, snow pushers, pallet forks, um, you name it. You know, I get you all sorts of stuff. I ship things all over the country, I try to find some really reasonable freight costs. And again, you know, I'm looking for a good way to ship these. I just got to find out, figure out that packaging. You know, I don't want this thing to arrive to you all beat up and banged up, you know, but UPS ground is typically the most cost effective way to get this to you. Um, it's just a matter of, of how I ship it. You know, I'm just figuring that out. But again, if you get a set of pallet forks or something else that's small and already going to be on a pallet, 
and I can just fit one of these quick hitches right on there with it, well, that's going to be pretty much, you know, that's straightforward, right? That's just easy to do. I just stick it on there and strap it down. I'm not going to give you the price of these things right now because prices do fluctuate over time, and I really hope that this video sticks around for years to come. And so as we know, things have a way of changing over time. But go to goodworkstractors.com. You can get more information about this quick hitch here and all the other tractors and attachments that I have for sale. I want to thank you so much for watching this video. Until next time, stay safe. We'll see you soon.